Hey guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to perform integration by parts using the tabular method. And we can use this little shortcut for integration by parts whenever we have a polynomial times some function that's easily integratable. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the integral of x squared e to the x. So what we do is we start off by drawing a table. So we have d4 derivative and i4 integrate. And so whenever we're picking a function for d, we want a function that when we take the derivative enough times will eventually get zero. So in this case here, that is the x squared. It can't be this e to the x because whenever we take the derivative of e to the x, we'll just keep getting e to the x back. So in this case here, that leaves e to the x for our integrate column. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of x squared until we hit zero. So taking the first derivative, we get 2x. Taking the derivative of 2x, we get 2. Taking the derivative of 2, we just get 0. And then however many times we took the derivative, so in this case 3, that's how many times we need to take the integral of e to the x. So the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So we just get e to the x for our first integral, e to the x for our second integral, and e to the x for our third integral. And from here, what we're going to want to do is draw a line connecting these diagonals here. And then we're going to write alternating signs. So here we have a plus, here we have a minus, and here we have a plus sign. And next what we're going to do is we're going to take the terms that are connected by the diagonal and we're going to multiply them. So in this case we have x squared times e to the x times a plus sign. So we have x squared e to the x. And then next we have 2x times e to the x times a negative sign, so we end up with minus 2x e to the x. And then lastly we have 2 times e to the x times a plus sign, so we have plus 2 e to the x. It's important to remember that we're taking the antiderivative, so we need to write a plus c at the end of this. And so we have the integral of x squared e to the x is equal to x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2e to the x plus c. And so that is our final answer. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have the integral of x times sine of x. So let's go ahead and start out by drawing our table. So we have d4 derivative and i4 integrate. And when we're trying to choose a function for d, we need to choose a function that when we take the derivative enough times will eventually get zero. And so it can't be the sine of x because no matter how many times we take the derivative of sine of x, we're going to get another trigonometric function. So we need to choose x because when we take the derivative of x enough times, we'll eventually get zero. And so that leaves us with sine of x for our integrate column. So now let's go ahead and take the derivative of x until we get 0. So taking its first derivative, we get 1. And taking its derivative again, we get 0. So we had to take the derivative two times in order to hit 0. So that means that we need to integrate sine of x twice. So integrating sine of x, we get negative cosine of x. And integrating negative cosine of x, we get negative sine of x. And then we're going to connect our diagonals. And then we're going to write alternating signs. So here we have a plus sign and here we have a minus sign. Next, we're going to multiply the terms that are connected by a diagonal. So here we have this x here and this negative cosine of x and then times a plus sign. So we end up with negative x cosine of x. And then here we have 1 times negative sine of x times a negative sign. So we end up with plus sine of x. And then plus c because we are taking the antiderivative. We have an indefinite integral. So the integral x times sine of x is equal to negative x cosine of x plus sine of x plus c. And so that is how you use the tabular method to perform integration by parts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.